Peace, 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 beautiful, beautiful souls. Welcome to Clear Audience Truth Speaker. I go by the name of Q, and I am here to do a general reading for my beloved, beloved Scorpios. Welcome to any of you beautiful souls that may be new. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are here, that was divinely ordained, divinely meant for you to be here. To my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love, is love is love is love. I send y'all extra love because you already know I love y'all that much. I appreciate you all for just being consistent, for checking in. You already know how I do. I'm just a different type of beast. I do the readings when I feel compelled to do the readings, when I feel spirit has something to say. And my angels and guys don't have something to say every day. So, um, <laughs> you know, it'd be nice long intervals uh, before I get a reading out. And it's because, like I said, I just like to come to the platform and share whenever I feel that there's something very pertinent for you all, you know, to take away or something that may be helpful to you. So I will that this reading will provide you whatever clarification, confirmation, affirmations, whatever it is you're looking for. I will that this reading provides that for you. Uh, for any of you that may be new, as I said, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am a clairaudient reader. So the way that I do things on my side of the planet is I incorporate music into my readings and the way that it works, the name of the songs, lyrics of the songs, name of the artist, maybe the timestamp on this clock, everything will correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing. And it all just blends very beautifully. So the music, the cards, what I'm channeling, it all just kind of marries one another. And it just makes a beautiful, beautiful message um, for you all to take away. So I will that the messages resonate. If you find that they do, please be kind. Hit the like button, the share button. Definitely subscribe if you feel so compelled to do so. Um, my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If this reading doesn't apply, just let it go, let it flow let it fly by. Never try to force anything to be your story. You have more than just one placement. So check your natal chart. See what your you know rising sign is saying. See what your moon sign is saying. See what's in your Venus. See what's in your Mercury. See what's in your Mars, your Saturn. See what's in your other placements because you may find that you may have more of a cohesive story uh, by checking those other placements opposed to just constantly focusing on your sun sign. So I do advocate that a lot because I know that even when I check my other signs and my other placements, I'm like, dang, that was right on the money. So a lot of you may be missing out on some pertinent information, just focus solely on your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus, you know, check your, your houses even, see what's going on with the houses. Start getting more familiar with like your natal chart, astrology, astronomy even, um, because What's happening above always affects us below. So as above, so below, and as within, so without. So your internal world, you'll hear me, hear me say that a lot, internal world will reflect your external world and vice versa. So, you know, what's going on in the stars celestially, it always impacts us. Right now we are experiencing Mercury retrograde, and we will until, I believe, the 27th of this month, the end of the month. And so... That's just a forewarning to let you know, expect, you know, communication barriers, communication issues, expect delays, expect perhaps accidents. Accidents can occur during this time. Expect people from your past popping up or past experiences that you thought you were, you know, kind of over coming back, resurfacing. Um, just there's a lot of things that, you know, may start to resurface. And it's just, you know, it's tests, you know, spirit will test us, universe will test us even to see if we in fact um, have overcome certain obstacles, if we've gotten over certain situations, um, if we've learned certain lessons. So we will be tested, we will be tried and we will be tested because that's what planet Earth is all about. It is really about, you know, this is really um, what I am gathering what I am learning is I feel like this is where all those resilient souls come to, you know, really, you know, enact whatever was written in their soul contract. So whatever experiences that you are here to learn and grow from and then heal from, 
I feel like that's what what we're here, whether that be through heartache, trauma, past life situation, circumstances. We're all here to learn from those experiences. But I digress. So my beloveds, we're going to go ahead, proceed with the read, but you already know how I do. Um, I would like to first pay homage uh, and do some house cleaning and spoke, uh, you know, give honor to the ancestors, ask for them to guide this message, and then we shall proceed with the read. Um, for anyone that may be new, like I said, uh, these readings are definitely general, um, but my, my readings are also timeless. So if you've clicked on this video two weeks from now, three years from now, a year from now, and the messages resonate, that's because my readings are timeless. So whenever this message has found you, it was not accidental. It was all spirit. So that's who you give. That's who I give honor and thanks to. So with all of that said, let me take a deep breath, beloveds. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, Shay. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo. So we have on the Klizok 703. So it's 703. Can you see that? I got it charging because my phone was literally dead. Uh, so it just changed to 704. But 703 reduces to 10. That's the Wheel of Fortune. That also can speak to changes, endings, uh, chapters that have closed, karmic cycles that have been completed. Um, 10 can also um, speak to, like, you know, if there were certain delays, I feel like things are definitely going to start moving. Um, you know, you're going to start building momentum or maybe there is uh, some sort of turning point. Um, I'm definitely getting a sense of, like, like something coming full circle also uh, whatever is destined will be so whatever you've been working on or whatever you've been preparing or anticipating I feel like it's going to be whatever is destined for you it will be it shall be um, so this is about your destiny this is about um, your your life's purpose your passions um, this could be even about, you know, your dreams and aspirations are coming true. Maybe there is some sort of, of fortune or some sort of blessing or some sort of monetary um, gift or um, some sort of, of payout that some of you may be receiving. Maybe there's a, a, a job offer. Um, maybe some of you may win like a scratch off ticket or the lottery. I'm picking up several different scenarios, but with the wheel of fortune, um, that is definitely speaking to you know come being overwhelmed with like some sort of uh, of, of prosperous um outcome I'm, I'm hearing like there's a turnaround or there's something that's like turning around for you financially or turning around for you so if you are feeling right now like you live in check to check um, or you don't have enough to pay for your bills or to to maintain your lifestyle or you feeling like you're just completely overwhelmed. I feel like this is spirit's way of assuring you that financially you're going to be OK. There's going to be a turnaround. I definitely feel like whatever is destined for you is going to come through. So with that 10 Every ending denotes a new beginning. So there's going to be an end to, you know, this worry, this frustration. Um, and you have to pardon my son. He's doing his whole gaming thing with his friends. And it's very loud. So I do apologize in advance if that is, like, distracting. Um, but there is definitely some sort of turnaround. I'm feeling like there's something that is going to... Um, pick up for you give me one moment because that is distracting right my apologies beloveds so yeah so i'm definitely picking up like turnaround but like i said every ending denotes a new beginning so if there were delays or if there was something um you were feeling like there was some sort of stagnancy or you know some sort of blockages or if you felt like something wasn't 
building any momentum or it was just kind of stuck um i do feel like there's some some turnaround i feel like things will actually be improving sooner than later um so expect that be open to that be receptive and i just saw 1010 10. so that 1010 10 is just double confirmation uh because i was expounding on 10 and then we saw 10 10 10 so that's 3 10 so that's 30 some of you could have been born on the third day the 30th um the 21st some of you could be life path number threes some of you may be dealing with someone that could be um you know uh have a, a solar return on the third day um 21st day the 12th day the 30th day of a month um some of you all are definitely uh, you've come into your power. So I'm here in self-mastery. The three deals with the empress energy. Even if you're masculine, just disregard, you know, the, the gender, if you will. But it's like you're in this very regal energy um where you are very learned. You you've you've gone through a lot of 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 I feel it's been a lot of uh spiritual lessons like you've been growing spiritually you've been you've been strengthening your spiritual um your spiritual um knowledge of self or your spirituality um your spiritual awareness awakening like there is something very very regal i'm getting from the energy that i'm picking up on and it feels and siri is literally like she was just spying on me because I was speaking to you and then the Siri button just popped up. I swear I don't like these smartphones. I'm literally about to get me a freaking like a, a goddamn flip phone and a beeper. People think I'm tripping and I'm dead ass. Like I'm I'm so over these smartphones. I'm I'm so over the distraction of having everything at my fingertips. I don't want that no more. I'm taking it back to the nineties, beloveds. But I digress. So yes, let's dive in. Let's see what's playing on the playlist. I don't even have my playlist set up. What is going on? What am I doing? Let me see. So let's check it out. So we started at 703. That's 10. 704 is 11. You're getting your just due. I'm, I'm definitely feeling like, you know, everything that you've been through, all of those karmic cycles that have come to completion, I feel like this is the last test. Like this Mercury retrograde is testing you. So be mindful that you are being tested. Be mindful that you may have to kind of like, you, you're going to have to show and prove at this, 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 this point of the game because I do feel like spirit is um, going to be throwing some things at you as I said tried and tested because we just saw 10 and I just you know broke down 11 because it switched to 704 so that's 11 and right after that is 12 and that 12 is dealing with like the hangman so this is about looking at things from a different perspective um, looking at things from a different vantage point so what we have playing on the playlist right now is we have Masigo. And this is called, I do everything for cruising. Okay, so I do everything. So some of you all may feel like you've been doing it all on your own. Like you've really been carrying a lot of burdens. Remember we saw 1010, we started the reading with 10. And 10 could also be like the 10 of wands energy where you feel like you have been carrying the burdens all on your own shoulders. Carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. And it's just like, when am I going to get a break? When is this cycle going to complete? And I feel like there is definitely... There is definitely a breakthrough because we did get that 10 of, um, you know, the, the Wheel of Fortune, which speaks to like a turnaround or something coming full circle. The 10, 10 could also be speaking to the 10 of Swords, where you may have had to learn a lot of difficult lessons um, in that chapter. And that chapter was really preparing you for this new cycle of life, for this new version of yourself, for this new spirituality that you are, you know, um, that you are embodying, that you are, um, you know, aware, awakened to. Uh, this is really showing like you've done everything in your power to to ascend, to grow, to evolve, to mature, to strengthen yourself, mind, body, and soul. Um, and more importantly, to heal. Because you wouldn't be able to do any of the aforementioned had you not focused on the spiritual work that was required, the internal work that was required. So you've healed. Um 
So with that, that I do everything. I do feel like you have absolutely been holding the fort down <laughs> all on your own. Even if you have um, been in a relationship prior um, that kind of met its demise, it's like even in that relationship, you were still alone. Like it, it didn't matter whether you had someone there. They were there, but they weren't there. You know, they could have been, you know, just almost basically like a roommate, you know, where there was not any real partnership or, um, you know, that real union, you know, where, you know, you and your person, your partner are supposed to be like the best of friends, talk about everything, and, and you're just supposed to be like cohesive, you know, maybe that's something that you lacked in your partnerships and your relationships, and that's the reason why perhaps some of you all have had to experience certain endings you had to experience that so that you can learn to love yourselves because if someone is not able to love you in the manner that you deserve that is not a type of love that you should continue um you need and you know we all need to be loved the way we deserve to be loved and you absolutely now know your love language so you're not going to settle anymore moving forward that is just what i'm picking up um but with that 11 i'm definitely feeling like you're getting your just do and it has a lot to do with you really putting forth the effort with the song Masego again saying I do everything um that's definitely just telling me that you have been like the sole um you know the sole provider perhaps in the household maybe you were in a relationship where a partner could not keep a job couldn't maintain a job uh was constantly bouncing from job to job so that put a lot of the responsibility on your shoulders a lot of pressure on your shoulders that could have caused a lot of you know just a lot of 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 discourse in the connection because you know that 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 um imbalance you know can cause a lot of um disagreements arguments especially when it comes to finances that is like one of the number one reasons why uh people divorce is because of financial constraints you know feeling like you know their partner perhaps isn't picking up their slack or isn't doing their part and and you know if i'm gonna do it alone i'm gonna do it alone i just saw 1717 and that is the star card so i do feel like there are some wishes coming true perhaps there is two of your wishes two dreams, two wishes, two, um, you know, th th there could be two intentions even that you have manifested that are coming into fruition. And the eight and eight breaks down to 16, which means there were some tower moments. So, you know, the tower has to fall so that you could rebuild on a more solid foundation, especially if you were involved in relationships or connections that were faulty um, that were fugazi or they weren't authentic or people weren't genuine, then you're naturally going to have to, you know, have those tower moments and things will be revealed. And more importantly, the truth can be out there. So I feel like the truth sets you free. Maybe you had to be true with yourself. Maybe someone, um, just kind of showed you who they truly were. Um, but it has led to some sort of ending, which is now, you know, catapulting you into some sort of brand new beginning. So what we have playing right now is brand Nubians. Um, and this is called punks jump up to get beat down. So, <laughs> so some of y'all could have gotten into some sort of squabble. Y'all could have been fighting with somebody. Like maybe somebody has. It's just been. I'm hearing tick tick boom. So somebody could have been like almost. I'm getting like a bully. You know how a bully will just keep on bullying somebody every day because they think somebody's weak. And then that one day that person just says today is not the day. And then they wop baba loo baba mofo. And that's what I'm getting. I'm feeling like somebody could have jumped up. You could have jumped bad, could have, you know, acted like they was tough and they kind of good probably could have got their ass whooped. Like what I'm I'm picking up, like I'm I'm seeing like a masculine energy um getting like their ass whooped by a female. Like I don't I don't know if this is somebody that was like in a an abusive relationship with a masculine that was constantly whooping on them and then this one last time it was just almost like I'm seeing that um that Tina Turner clip from um, What's Love Got to Do With It with Angela Bassett, where, you know, she was getting whooped constantly um, by Lawrence Fishburne in the movie. And then there was just that scene in, in the limousine where she was just like, enough is enough. She saw her face. She was tired of it. And she started punch. She started whooping his ass. Um, and so I'm getting something like that. Like 
a punk will put his hands on a woman. You know, um, you know, not a man. A man would never raise his hand to a woman. A man that has been raised right by a by a woman will never raise their hand to a woman. Um, so I feel like that's something that someone could have def dealt with. And that last time. It was like you got the best of them. And they probably walked away with a bloody nose, broken nose, black eyes. Like they walked away like hurt. So I'm, I'm getting a sense of like you you took your power back in that moment. Um, with Brand Nubian, I'm strongly getting like a female um, that was in some sort of physical um and that's really, like I said, that's like physical abuse. Like that's domestic violence abuse. Um, but enough was enough for whoever I'm picking up on. And with brand new being like, you are a brand new version of yourself. You are a queen. I was picking up on that empress energy earlier, like in your regal and royal energy. So you have had to fight, scratch, gnaw to get to this place of, you know, like spiritual, spiritual growth, knowledge of self, love of self. Um, you've healed yourself, you know, so I'm just seeing a level of self mastery be like none other. So that's very beautiful. I love that. So some of y'all definitely y'all, y'all were in some very toxic connections. And I feel like the lesson was to, you know, to fight back um, and to not take it. So what we have, look at that. I love that. So we have happy ending on the bottom of the deck. And I was just picking up like wish fulfillment from the 1717 we saw. Because that 17 is the star card in traditional tarot. And the star, if you see the star, she is naked. And that naked energy is really representative of, you know, your vulnerabilities. Like being like being free of vulnerabilities, being fearless, you know, putting any pride or any, you know, need to be like, oh, oh my God, you know, like that, that has gone astray. Like there's no need to be, you know, shy or coy. It's like, you're like, this is who I am. You know, it's like you're finally accepting yourself as you are. And whoever doesn't like it, don't have to look. You know what I'm talking about? Like you are literally in that type of energy where not only have you turned those vulnerabilities into a superpower, but you've also learned to co you know, to co-create um, with source. So you've learned how to really set your intention and call in and draw in and, you know, set that intention on what you wish to call in to you. And what I'm seeing is those blissings. I'm seeing things coming in rapidly, quickly, unexpectedly even. This is, this is beautiful. And it's going to be very, it's going to make you happy. You know, this is ecstatic. We have Benita Applebaum. This is a tribe called Quest. So this is what you all have been doing on your quest to self-love and on your quest to self-love, self-respect. Um, you know, it's, it's just like you've been on this in this space where you're you're more focused on becoming your authentic self. So whatever is happening outside of that is like it's it's null and void right now because you're on a quest you know, you're on a quest and I feel along and on during this quest, you are going to naturally attract your soul tribe. You're naturally going to attract people that are like minded, that are on the same frequency, same vibration. It's just going to be that easy because now you're in the right vibration. That is powerful. And with this happy ending, I just see magnetism with this. This yellow is just like very it's attractive. It's bright. You know, when you think of yellow, I think of like Mama Oshun. That's her color. And it's just a beautiful energy of just strength and beauty and, you know, illumination and clarity. And, you know, it's a very beautiful uh, color, which also can represent new beginnings as well. When you think of yellow, you think of the sun rising, you know, and, and it's a dawning of a new day. So it's a beautiful energy that I'm picking up. And I'm really seeing that you all are coming into your power. What we have on the bottom, look at that on the split, I should say is seven, seven. I just literally saw, um, seven, seven, seven on the back of a car. Um, so the seven, 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 some of y'all could have been seeing that, uh, with spirituality, you're attracting your soul tribe, just as I said, um, because this is showing me whenever I see double numbers, uh, I always feel like that's the energy you're attracting to you. And that seven is showing that you have grown, you've grown personally, spiritually, you've grown mentally, emotionally, you've grown physically, even like you've grown. If you were in a period where you were healing, you've, you've grown, um, 
past the hurt. You've grown beyond the pain, the agony that you've experienced, and you're now in a better place. You're stronger. Um, I feel that definitely there's going to be some form of communications via your dreams. Keep a dream journal because um, I'm definitely feeling like there's a lot of downloads. I've been having some really, you know, strange dreams. And so I think it would be very, um, you know, very important to kind of like keep a dream journal and then look up the meanings of those dreams because I definitely feel like there are divine downloads. There's some t sort of communication from your higher self, from your spirit team, from your angels, your guides, your ancestors. Um, I also feel like you may have someone that could be communicating to you telepathically or even intuitively. You could be naturally picking up on this person's energy um, or vice versa. If someone is constantly living in your mind or renting space in your mind, Mind, then you know who this is but if this is someone that's doing that to you whoever pops up in your mind I feel like that's the person that's thinking of you whoever you pops up whether you saw them yesterday two years from today five years ago like whoever that person is that you're thinking of I feel like that's the person that's thinking of you and you both are picking up on each other's energy because as you can see you both are very cerebral um I feel like you both are very um very like intuitive or psychic or you could be channelers or some sort of like you know you high priestess or high priest like whoever this is but with this seven seven five and this three again i feel a lot of strength i feel a lot of you know blessings that are pouring in i definitely feel momentum i feel movement um and so what we have right now is gloria and taylor and this um the name of the album says love is a hurting thing if you look right here, it says love is a hurting thing. But the name of the song is Had It All The Time. So whomever this is, you know, that you are, um, you know, that is thinking of you, this is someone that may feel like, damn, um, they had a dime all along. You know, they had a diamond in the rough all along. And perhaps they may have let it go, you know, because that's what I'm getting. Someone's name could be Gloria, Ann, or Taylor, first, middle, or last. Um, but I definitely feel like this is someone who's realizing they love you. Like, love does hurt, you know. Love can hurt, especially if it's unrequited. Um, and I also feel like love could hurt if you are in a relationship with someone who's not really, you know, um, commit, you know, that like if they're a commitment foe. Um, if they're non-committal and you're all in and this person is giving you little bits and pieces and, you know, barely there or not supportive or not really, um, you know, like collaborating with you the way a partner would, then yes, it can, it can hurt because you can have this whole vision, um, you know, in your mind's eye of like what this relationship is supposed to be. But then if your partner isn't on the same page and you're doing all the work that, that can hurt. You could feel like you're taken advantage of you could feel abandoned you could feel unseen unheard um and unloved and so i'm getting a strong sense that someone may very well be starting to see that because in your absence um i feel like this person is like damn i had it all along had it all the time and i let it slip away or i let it i let it go you know i, I foolishly let that let that go and so that's that's what i'm picking up is like someone is really feeling foolish because they're starting to realize like what they had um and they no longer have it, basically. So the cards that flew out, look at that. And they don't have it because of pride and ego. You know, someone not really expressing how they feel. Not expressing, you know, not even showing you how much they care. Like, I'm getting a sense of someone that actually loves you deeply, especially with this. Love is a hurting thing. And it's like, but they never told you. You know, they may never have told you, they, they may never have shown you. And I don't know if this was just solely ego and pride or if this is something that someone was just, they were not, they didn't know how to emote. They were not emotionally intelligent. And this 19 is still 10. So there was some sort of ending that had to occur. And this ending is, you know, what's humbling someone. Someone's really like in a space where they're like, oh, you know, like, oh, I'm actually supposed to show my feelings and my emotions. So many men have been like, they've been like, I just feel like they've been misled, you know, and it has a lot to do with culture, has a lot to do um, 
you know, just with ignorance, to be honest. You know, a lot of men that I grew up with, they thought that, you know, being a man was just really just about like how many women you can you can bang or how many, you know, like who you can manipulate and get stuff from. And it was never really, you know, about like forging and developing a respectful, honorable love ship and friendship and partnership it was always like you know you gotta outsmart and get what you want like that type of game and then when you get older and you're still playing that game and y you get left behind because people are not going to deal with that level of Im immaturity especially you know with women who are a little more i don't want to say women i just, like people are they get to a level where they become more emotionally intelligent and i think experiences open you up to that and i also feel like just the more you heal and grow and work on yourself the more mature you become and when someone is constantly closed off blocked off or not looking at themselves as someone that needs to also evolve and change and also always pointing the finger at someone else like you need to do this and you need to do that, but they're not looking at themselves then that's also what's going to you know kind of force it's, it's like they're going to be left behind again like that that's another reason how or another way and means to how people get you know, kind of left behind because they're not doing their due diligence to to improve, to self improve. You know, they're not doing their due diligence to um, to grow or to mature. Now, someone is forced in that position, and I feel it has a lot to do with perhaps you walking away. Like I said, something is like turning. You know, there is a turning point. And I feel the turning point is because now that you've come into your power and now that you're no longer looking back, hoping and wishing and praying for somebody from the past to come back and you're finally owning that it's over or owning that you're looking forward to this new beginning, this new start, your new life, your new venture. That's what's really making someone feel like, you know, perhaps like they're being left behind. And so now they're, they're getting a slice of humble pie, if you will. And this is going to lead someone to start doing their own work, you know, because they're going to have to start going back and, you know, just kind of like looking back at some of their childhood um, experiences or some of their familial um, dynamics. And they're going to start their healing work because this 10 becomes one and that deals with the root chakra. And so when you go to the root chakra, that deals with like your family life, your security, your stability. Um, it deals with life and death even, you know, like transformation. And someone is transforming or someone is having some sort of like an ego death. So that death is going to force someone to emerge someone different because they are, you know, now finally being their authentic self. Um, we have Joey Badass and this is called Zip Codes. So this person could be either, you know, and when I hear badass, I just feel like this was someone that was almost like a player, someone who was just like, you know, a player or a playerette. I heard that like spirit corrected me like, you know, player, playerette. Like this is someone that was just playing, playing a lot of games. I feel like this is someone that really just, you know, they, they never really took the time to get in touch with their emotions. Um, I feel like they, they don't even like, they don't even know how to love. I don't think they really have a true understanding of what love is. And that's why this has been like a journey and a half for some of you all because you were dealing with someone, you know, and that word narcissist is so overly used. I don't even want to use it no more. Um, I just feel like this is someone who may have some sort. There's a lot of, of um, fog. I'm just getting mental fog. I'm getting someone who's not clear. I'm getting someone who is completely unaware. Like they, they're unaware. You know, they, they have no self-awareness in a situation. Like they just have no self-awareness. So they, if they have no self-awareness, they don't know how they can't take accountability if they have no self-awareness. They can't be responsible for anything that they're doing if they have no self-awareness. That is like the first step, and that's what I'm getting. But I feel someone now is is starting to kind of slowly wake up and pull the you know the the sleep from their eyes, the wool from their eyes, the rose-colored glasses, whatever it is, whatever illusions they were painting or whatever masks they were wearing. Um, this it's like the jig is up.
You know what I'm saying? Because you're moving in a shaking. You're keeping it pushing. You're not looking back. You're not waiting. You're not stalling. Like you're not sitting by the phone. You're keeping it pushing. You're growing. You're living. You're improving. You're maturing. You know, you're elevating. And you're completely a different person. And they're seeing that. And I feel like there's some fears surrounding that. And we have two patients. So this two and this one is three. So this is again where we are. This is the overall energy. So I do feel like, you know, spirit is, um, because the two deals with that high priest and high priestess energy. And that's what I was picking up. So I do feel like, especially with this three, um, there has been a lot of heartaches and a lot of pain. Like I do feel like someone has experienced a lot of disappointment. Um, and this has a lot to do with someone's ego, someone's pride, someone's, you know, not willing to, um, compromise i just get someone really hell-bent on being right or really hell-bent on doing what they want being a control freak um being manipulative even conniving just to get what they want and not being you know available or willing to bend a little like this is somebody who's just me 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 my way highway mine mine my like a stubborn baby like this is that's what i'm gathering and it's like you have the patience like of <laughs> i'm telling you like you you were just super patient with this person just you know willing to compromise and i feel and i feel like you over compromised in this situation and and the moment that you stopped and set boundaries that was the best thing you could do not only for yourself and your peace of mind but also for this person because it's like you helped them because I feel like there was a lot of enablement. Like somebody doesn't get this stubborn and hard-headed unless they are enabled. Like they're in relationships where people are enabling the behavior and it just continues. And no one has like been able to shake them awake. And I feel like by you setting the, the boundary, by you establishing um, those boundaries, this, is, this was the hard lesson, the tough lesson. And it hurt like hell. Because remember, it says love is a hurting game. And so this hurt whomever. This could have even hurt you. But it's like you had the patience like, like it, it never seen before. Like the, it is in, as patient as you have been in this process, I just strongly feel like that's the reason why I feel you have a wish fulfillment because you deserve it after <laughs> after this. But this also was your level up. Like this is how you were able to level up because not only were you teaching this person, but you were also a student in the process. So you were knocking out two birds with one stone. You was leveling up and getting your, you know, your your medals while you were also teaching another person as they were teaching you. So it's like the student and the teacher, you could be the student and the teacher at the same time. And I feel like that person was teaching you and they were teaching that they were teaching you and you were teaching them because that's why people come into, um, you know, into these relationships is to be able to, you know, teach one another. And that's what you were dealing with. This could have been something that needed to be. Um, this was definitely this not this must have this is an absolute um, lesson that was meant to be learned. And I feel many of you have learned it. With patience, I do feel like Spirit is also reminding you to be patient in anything that you are doing. So don't just jump the gun and, and jump into stuff, especially during Mercury Retrograde. You already know that they say you shouldn't start new jobs or anything new, school or whatever it is. You shouldn't start anything new during Mercury Retrograde because there could be delays, there could be glitches, there could be communication um, issues, there could be all kinds of things that kind of, you know, just funk things up. And so... Um, and I said funk. <laughs> it could be funky. And and so it's best to wait till this ener this energy um, goes direct, you know. And so I feel like spirit is telling you to be patient. Um, to be patient and to let this this let's, let this energy, you know, kind of play out, let it go, and then you can um and then you can proceed. We have Maxwell, and this is called Ascension. So that's what I feel like spirit is saying. Like let this energy kind of um, pass because many of you are ascending, you're growing, you're evolving. As I said, you know, someone's name could be Maxwell, first, middle, or last. Someone could be from Brooklyn. 
Um, this says 432 hertz um, that this was recorded and 432 reduces to 9 and 9 is telling me that there is definitely something special waiting you know 9 is automatically showing me the nine of cups nine of pentacles um you've been single you've been taking care of your business you've learned your independence was the foundation for your stability your security your overall happiness you've also learned your worth and your value by establishing boundaries so you know what you want you know what you don't want you know what your love language is apart from what it isn't this is like the energy you're in this goddess energy or this god energy you know this is that empress emperor energy and with ascension playing, I definitely feel like that spirit's way of saying that you all have evolved. You've ascended. You've been spiritually awakening um, and growing gradually. So that three shows self-mastery. The empress energy is very, very magnetic, very attractive, um, very powerful. Um, she's a receiver. You know, you, you could be literally like working on something like mastering your craft you could be creating something new um i feel like that's what the spirit is telling you take your time with it take your time to get it right because whatever you're working on i feel like it's definitely going to bring some sort of blessing or something is going to like grow or it's going to expand um what we have here on the bottom of the deck is five change so I do feel with the five, that's the throat chakra. That's also giving me like, you know, the five deals with the um, hierophant. So that's also showing why you're changing, how you're changing because of maturation, you know, ascension, spiritual growth, spiritual strength. That's what the hierophant rep represents. You could have been learning from someone. This is like tutelage. This is definitely... Um, Sitting at the feet of elders, being initiated, going through a rites of passage. Maybe you're going through classes. You're going through some sort of online student. Look at this. This is what's underneath it. So many of you have been growing and maturing. You know, you're definitely manifesting something new. You're learning how to manifest because this five and this three is definitely giving me that energy of like building your strength, your spiritual strength, your spiritual prowess, your spiritual knowledge. You know, coming into your own even, you know, discovering whatever this is that you're supposed to be doing, that divine purpose, that divine path, passion or path that you're supposed to be taking, that whatever that is, it's like that's what you're coming into and things will be changing for the better. You know, I feel like you may get some good news also that's going to change things or change your perspective or change the way you're looking at things. Let the divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message. Let's get the message. Who is um, our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message. Because that's the overall energy right now. We have Cappadonna. And this is called Milk the Cow. And this is... Um, so Milk the Cow. And you know what they say about... Um, you know, like you can... Um, what is that saying about... You can't have the milk without, the, you got to have the, what's that saying? Something about milk. Why buy the cow if you could, if you could get the milk for free? Thank you, spirit. So someone's trying to milk you or someone was trying to milk you. And remember early I was picking up, like some of y'all was kind of like in relationships where mofos was lazy, you know, mofos was literally lazy. They sat back and just watched you do everything. Even if you was a masculine dealing with that. I don't care how cute a female is. She need to get her ass up and have some get up and go. Like she need to be doing something, working towards something. Like being cute is not enough. Especially if you don't know how to cook around these parts. Like I'm coming home. I don't smell no food cooking. The house dirty. And you sitting on Instagram or you watching like reality TV. And, and I'm just supposed to be happy because you're cute or you got a fatty. Or same thing is applicable for males or females. You come home and you do sitting and playing video games. And you coming in from a 9 to 5 busting your ass. And they sitting there playing video games. Ain't no food cooking. The house dirty. They ain't move an inch from when you left. Like no. Who got time for that? Like, nah, you had to, like, rethink your whole life decisions after that. So what we have on the bottom of the deck, I told you someone is communicating with you telepathically or intuitively. This is who or what you're attracting to you. So six, communication. Pay attention to your dreams, as I said. Keep a dream journal. Also pay attention, like, if you start feeling like you're getting dull headaches or your ears are ringing and things like that, if it's the left or right ear, Pay attention because there's messages that are coming through like loud, um, 
sounds like the loud ringing sounds um i know they say with the right ear that means that someone um like your angels or someone that's in your um in your peripheral like not peripheral in your um in your orbit you know is is communicating or speaking your name um this is somebody that you know perhaps could be just speaking your name or someone that you could be picking up on that signal i think they said with the left ear that's more like your angels you know kind of forewarning you or telling you to like whatever you're thinking in that moment like take note of that you know like if your thoughts are negative be mindful of that you know like be mindful of your thoughts be mindful of the words you speak because our words are powerful our tongue is just as powerful as a sword like it i'm telling you so it's like we got to be mindful and we have to be kinder you know in the way that we communicate about ourselves or people that we love you know the sitting on the phone gossiping about people that i hope nobody's entertaining that time that shit because that right there is so low vibrational sitting around talking about your problems talking about your money problems worst thing you could ever do don't ever sit on the phone and be like yeah girl this happened that like that all you're doing you both are just creating more of that that is like you're, you're just Ugh, it, that is the worst thing to do when people start to talk in problems or politics and shit in my ear part of my language um i'd be like i'd be rushing off the phone oh i gotta go i gotta go because i don't have i don't have that type of time i'm not on that type of time i don't i don't talk about those things i don't want it in my subconscious i'm literally like you know programming my brain to think the way i want it to think and five minutes of that can set you back two years i'm telling you like it'll it'll bring your whole vibration down you could been you could have been up you could have been high vibration coasting somebody talked to you five minutes about issues and problems I promise you, your energy will shift for the worse. So just be mindful. Protect yourself. You don't have to listen to people's shit. You don't. Pardon my language again. You don't have to listen to it. Mercury retrograde got me cussing again. Um, but yes, sometimes you just got to put some stank on some of these words just to, you know, get your point across. But yes, so there's communication. So be mindful, you know, of, you know, your thoughts, as I said, um, definitely your first eye. Use your first eye to see because it's 3-3. Three, three, that's another double number. And remember, we was breaking down the three earlier, the empress energy, that goddess energy. This is a yellow card. Um, so I do feel like, you know, whomever you're attracting to you is made in your likeness because they too are in, you know, this regal energy. So you're going to attract what you are. So that just is very um, telling of the work that you've done, what you've been going through or growing through. We have T.S. Monk. And it says more to love. And this is 1981. So this is one. So we back at one. So whomever this is, I'm, I'm getting like, this is somebody that's very attracted to you. Because we're about to pull the card for how they feel about you. And 1981 breaks down to one. Um, so definitely someone that is very, very attracted. Because the one is a very felicious number. It's a masculine number. So there's a masculine that has their eyes on a feminine. Or maybe the feminine, you know, it's a vice versa situation. Someone's name could be T or S. Like someone's initials could be T or S. Um, you know, I'm hearing Tiffany, Tanya, Tamika, Tammy, um, Tony. Um, I'm hearing Tafik. I'm hearing Tyrese. I'm hearing uh, Theodore. <laughs> Someone's name is Theodore, Theo, Tommy. I don't know if I said that. And then we got T.S. and Monk. Maybe someone has been like in like this. I'm getting more like a hermit mode uh, with that Monk. You know, like whomever this is. They, you haven't heard from this person in a while. And that could be why you kind of rent space in their mind. This is why they communicate with you telepathically or intuitively. Because it says more to love. So this person is realizing there's more about you to love. Like not only have they discovered that they're attracted to you. But they're realizing damn there's more to love about the Scorpio. And this is all 333. So your ascended masters and angels are watching over you. Because everything here reduces to 333. So 333, three, three, some of you all could be seen 333. Three, three. Remember, I was breaking down someone's birthday, solar return, or someone's um, life path number could be uh, 3, 12, 21, or 30. Um, 
So someone's solar return could be any of those numbers. Someone could have uh, that you're dealing with could also, you know, have a solar return or life path number that uh, reduces to three as well. So three, three, three reduces to nine. So whomever this is, you know, and how they feel about you is that I feel like they see you as someone who is really focused on loving yourself because I'm seeing the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. Like they're realizing that your singlehood has been really good for you. Because now you're really on, you know, this self-love, you know, kind of regimen. Like, you're not, like, taking any chances with anybody coming in and disrupting, like, this peace that you have been able to create for yourself. Or, you know, you may have, like, moved away and started over. And it's like, you know, whomever this is, is, like, seeing all of this progress. Seeing that you've absolutely you know, kind of like evolved, you know, you've evolved, you've grown tremendously and you've worked hard to get there. Like it wasn't easy. And we have TLC. What about your friends? You know, and I feel like this person just wants a little bit of your tender, loving care, you know, because they may see you as that empress energy or that emperor, which is very nurturing and maternal and paternal energy, depending on if you're masculine or feminine. But that is a loving, nurturing, caring um, energy. You know, the empress is, you know, that's a mother. Um, the emperor is a father. So that is a very uh, devoted and and protective energy even so whoever this is with what about your friends you know maybe this is someone that was a friend you may have befriended this person and you know somehow like i said um you and this person may have lost contact or something may have occurred which kind of you know kind of severed the ties uh with this person we got 66 healing and remember that's what i was picking up on you all doing you know, you, in order to be at a point where you now have knowledge of self or you've reached that level of self-mastery, this is the first step. Um, and so whomever you're dealing with, that that, that could be something that um, they may be experiencing as well. Because how they feel about you is 6-6. Six, six. So, you know, that 6 is dealing obviously with the lovers. Um, that angel oversees that union uh but the six six breaks down to 12 so as i said earlier because i was picking up the 10 then we saw the 11 with the 703 then we saw 704 and then i was like the next number is 12 which is the hangman and so that's what this is this person is now looking at you as a different person they're seeing you in a whole new light because you've healed they're watching you heal they're watching you grow they're watching you evolve they're watching your literal ascension and this is in in return transforming them and breaking you know whatever that that chain or whatever that was you know it's like it's breaking them free from you know this this false sense of pride and ego because all you're doing is lying to yourself you know and and you weren't chasing ish like you literally you know once you got that power you know, once you really felt empowered enough and strong enough to walk away, that's exactly what you did. You walked your beautiful and fine behind away from the drama. This is a drama king, a drama queen. This is, like I said, very immature, emotionally immature. And this, this was just annoying to deal with. But that's how they see you. How they feel about you is healing. You know, they definitely are seeing that you have grown, matured. Maybe there were things that they could do in the past um, to kind of antagonize you and you would respond. Or, and, and now there's it's like crickets. You know, they can't even, they can't get nothing out of you because you're literally, you're you're so beyond the, the negativity and the stupidness of somebody's life. You're not even on that type of time no more. So they're really looking at you as a different person now. So that's powerful. So let's tap in. So how does this person, wow, that was quick. I'm going to let it fall. Let me finish my shuffle. I may have more than one number, a message. And so we got 26 love partnership. That's on the bottom of the deck from when we pull um, what's hidden. So what flew out, pardon me, is 13 effort. So what did I say? They saw you transform, beloved, and you've emerged someone brand new. They also see that you have a love of self because that 13 reduces to four. And that four deals with the heart chakra. That four is also the emperor. So as I was picking up the empress energy, now we got the emperor. So this is confirmation that this is someone that is definitely on your same frequency, someone made in your likeness. And I feel this person is going to make the effort. Like this is someone that's definitely not going to shy away. Because when you think of the emperor, the emperor go gets what they want. They don't take no for an answer. They're very persistent. 
you know, and that is that devoted father. That is a very fiery energy, passionate energy, very attractive person. They, they're definitely like moguls. And as I said, it's a suit to the empress. So this is someone that definitely will suit you. Um, this is someone made in your likeness, as I said, and they are willing to put forth the effort, the time, the energy. They are willing to court you and treat you, you know, like that divine feminine or divine masculine that you are because they realize you're like a diamond in the rough. Like you are not somebody that they're going to bump into more than once in a lifetime. You know what I'm talking about? And we have Ebony Eyes playing by Rick James. Some of you all have beautiful eyes. You may have brown eyes, almond-shaped eyes. You may have green eyes. You know, you may have some beautiful eyes. And this is someone that's definitely, I feel, watching you with ebony eyes. This is definitely someone that watches you from a distance. They keep, you know, they keep tabs on you, I feel. Yeah, this person definitely keeps tabs. With this nine and this four, it's still 12. So that's three and so this is definitely that same energy i'm sorry nine and four is not 12 pardon me that is 13 so this is okay so this is four so this is four this all breaks down to four because remember we had three 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 that's nine <clears throat> and so that nine and this 13 that's four so that breaks down to four so we're about to pull the card for you know what's hidden in the energy how they feel about you i definitely feel there's love i also feel like they feel like they've missed this opportunity whomever this is um even if this isn't the new person or whom someone doesn't want to miss an opportunity perhaps thank you spirit they corrected me because i feel this is a new person i feel like this could be someone new um, even if it's like not a new, new person, this could be someone you're familiar with, but you've never been in a relationship with this person per se. So I feel like they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. I definitely feel recovery also, like someone's recovering from heartache or recovering from disappointment. Like there's this recovery period or recuperating from disappointments and hurt with 26 love partnership. For what's hidden, this is what could be coming in. And this is eight. Remember, I was picking up some wish fulfillment, some blessings. I feel like there's going to be some positive movements forward. I feel like you and whomever this person um, that you're attracting to you, I feel like y'all are going to be like, you know, like there's just the synergy where you will be just kind of mesmerized by each other, staring into each other's eyes, maybe getting lost in one another's eyes or you know maybe getting lost in the conversation that's going to be very stimulating so this card kind of fell out on its own and that's the same energy look at that that's powerful that's the same energy i didn't even i was shuffling away so this is what's hidden 26 8 so this is this is the wish fulfillment this is what you don't know that's coming in and this is a partnership because I was describing earlier, some of you all were in connections where there was no sense of partnership, no sense of collaboration, no sense of teamwork. It was just you doing everything. And if this wasn't you doing everything, perhaps it was your partner that felt like they was doing everything. But someone was the sole like contributor to the household. Like someone was literally doing like overtime, extra time, any time to pay the bills because whomever they were with, whomever they were in that partnership, that relationship with, wasn't carrying their weight. They weren't doing their part. Because I was picking up somebody that was just like job to job to job or couldn't keep a job, couldn't land a job. Maybe they had some sort of criminal background. So that also played a factor. You know, a lot of times people, you know, they get, they get judged for things that they've done in their past or in their youth, and it cripples them for life. And this is only a certain demographic of people because I watched that show, Life After Lockup, and some of these people coming out of jail becoming, they be like, they become real estate uh, <laughs> uh, brokers. And I'm just like, how? When? Where? Like, you know, some of it's, it's just like, you know, it, it doesn't, everybody don't have those opportunities. So for whoever this is, maybe that's something that was hindering someone um, or debilitating someone's ability, um, you know, to, to be, con you know, to contribute. But that doesn't take away from the laziness because I was getting somebody just sitting around on video games all day long. And that was their contribution. 
You know what I'm talking about? Like the house was dirty, dishes in the sink when you left from to go to work in the AIM. You come back at five, six, seven, no food cooking, and the baby in dirty pampers, or you know, nothing's done in the house because somebody's sitting there with the damn, you know, headphones on, living in a virtual reality and not this reality. So you had to part ways. You had to break free because that was it was just overburdening you with unnecessary stress. And it's like if I'm going to do this by myself, then I'm going to do it by myself for real. But baby, what you got coming towards you is something that's going to be so much better because this is the type of love that's going to be perfect. Like this is a like someone that is coming in and they, it's like you're going to mesh well. They're going to speak your love language. You're going to speak their love language. This is someone that's going to be a giver. You're going to be a receiver. This is like that type of like yin yang type of energy that you look for. You know, the type of partner that, like I said, that is your homie, your lover, your best friend. It's like y'all could laugh. That's the first person you think to call when good news or bad news. Like that's that person. That's what I'm picking up. Like your person. And eight and four breaks down to 12 again. I keep saying 12. Why do I want it to be 12? I'm sorry. Yeah, it is 12. 8 and 4 breaks down to 12. So this is this is powerful. So this 8 and this 4 breaks down to 12. So we're back at 12. So now the outcome. So the 12 breaks down to 3. So this is definitely like someone is kind of, like I said earlier, because the 12 is the hangman. You know, so the 12 is the hangman and the 3 is the empress. So someone is now seeing you in your light. Someone is now realizing like, damn you're you're the real deal even if you're not an emperor i mean an empress you're the emperor but someone is now looking at you like with a whole new um you know set of eyes like they looking at you like damn you know and look what we have playing we got lena horn and it says where or when words and music 1948 wow so long ago that's beautiful and that's actually 13 so that's powerful. So that's so it says when or uh, where or when. So when I heard horn, I automatically heard somebody's going to call you on the horn. That's just like little slang and ebonics that we used to use back in the 90s. I'm about to call you on the horn, the jack, um, you know, saying I'm a bell you. That's my UK folks um, or, you know, my European folks. But th with the horn, that's like. That's what I'm getting. Like someone is going to call you or you're going to get some sort of news. And it says where or when. So it's almost like someone is calling and saying, hey, can I meet up with you? And you're going to be like, where? When? Like you're setting plans with someone. And this is what we're about to pull for the outcome. So you're, 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 you're you know, like making plans. Someone is planning to see you and you're like, okay, where do you want to meet up? Or when do you want to meet up? So, you know, maybe this is not, if this is a love situation or someone, and I'm saying it's love because literally the love partnership came out. But if this is just like someone coming back to just rekindle or to um, catch up, they may be like, you know, they may invite you out. Like, hey, let's go, you know, grab a drink or grab you know, a bite to eat or whatever the case. And you're going to be like, all right, bet. Where? When you want to do this? You know what I'm talking about? Like, so it's, it's like you're planning something with someone. And with the 78 spirit career, spiritual career, pardon me, I definitely feel like the outcome is that things are going to start progressing. Things are going to start moving forward. And we got 16 rebirth underneath that. So I do feel like a lot of you have come into your power. A lot of you, that's what you've been taking the time in hermit mode to do is master your crafts and sharpen your sword and hone your skills, your gifts. That's what this 948 is representing, transformation. That's why the rebirth showed up to confirm that. What did I say about you was dealing with players. So that's why you had to transform because you had to learn to love yourself. You had to get rid of people that didn't see your worth and value and start seeing it within yourself so that you can kind of work from the inside out because love is an inside job and when you love yourself then you are more susceptible to attracting people that are going to treat you right and love you right because they see that you're treating yourself right they see that you're loving yourself in the way that you should so with this players that's what you was dealing with you was dealing with a player in the past and that player or that playerette came into your life to teach you lessons and the lesson they taught you was the best thing you could have ever learned was self-love is the best love so what we have here 
through your transformation and your, your growing pains, now you can embark on the spiritual career. The spiritual career, I'm here in 5083C. Some of y'all are going to start some nonprofits. Some of you may already have a nonprofit. Some of you may be doing some investigations to start a business, or maybe you're going back to school so that you can progress yourself in your career. Um, but I do see like there's definitely some improvement, something that's growing or building for you all. Um, and maybe you already have some sort of spiritual career. And I just see things picking up. I see, you know, like I see more clientele. Um, but I also feel like, okay, thank you, Spirit. Wow. Spirit has done that twice. Thank you. I just wanted to finish my shuffle. And what did I say about you all being the student and the teacher at the same time? So that's what you all were doing. And this is 12. So someone is learning from you. They're learning from you because you have literally, <laughs> you know, you've been doing this work. Like, they can't learn from you if you're faking it. You can't fake spiritual growth. You can't fake, you know, um, reaching a level of self-mastery. You can't fake this, you know. You, you can't fake God. You can't trick God. And that's who's been watching over you. Because remember, we had the 333. So your angels, Archangel Mikael, Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, Ariel, Metatron, they're all watching over you that's your spirit team they are protecting you and guiding you and making sure you stay in alignment to attract whatever it is that they have ready for you because it looks like there's blessings and all kind of wish fulfillments coming through so spiritual career came out for your outcome so many of you are going to start going on that journey or going down that path um because I feel like spirit is aligning you with your divine purpose, to be honest. You know, your divine purpose, your 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 uh, spirit team, you know, like there's definitely a sense of alignment. And then we have 9-9 nine, nine, and it says completion. So this is confirmation that you all have definitely been wrapping up some sort of chapters or cycles or you've been completing some sort of chapters. Um, and that's what we was getting. You was dealing with a knucklehead. So we got knucklehead here. Can you see that? And this is, um, I don't even know who this is. Oh, Grover T. Washington. So that's what you all were dealing with. You were dealing with a knucklehead. And I was picking up someone very stubborn. And I even said that someone, you know, was really foggy. You know, this is like, when you're a knucklehead, you're like literally hard-headed. So you got to constantly learn the hard way because you just want to be right. And this card was, you know, sticking out. And I was curious to see what it was. And it's happy ending. So there's no denying that you're going to have a happy ending. That's what we literally started the cards or started the reading with this card on the bottom of the deck and then as I'm putting the cards in the deck because I've completed um, you know my need to use these cards or I've finished um, using these cards this is the same card that's popping up um, just to re-emphasize I feel like spirit is just re-emphasizing happy endings are approaching stay focused <laughs> so don't get sidetracked you know what I'm saying especially by a knucklehead that might pop back up because as I said, Mercury Retrograde tends to bring a lot of old stuff back. And as I told you, you could be, you know, Spirit could be trying and testing you to see, like, if you're really ready for this new beginning. You're really ready, um, you know, to start a new cycle. So let me see. What do I want to I'm going to use this card. I'm going to use the Goddess Guidance decks, And then I'm going to clarify with Hudu Tarot. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, what do we have? Past Life. So that's beautiful. So as I said earlier, I was picking up a sense of like many of you were like literally healing from past wounds, traumas, childhood traumas, past life traumas. That's what this three represents. You know, um, this could be your energy or whomever you were dealing with. But whomever you're, you're attracting to you or whomever you were dealing with in the past, I definitely am getting a sense of like maybe this is someone that you may have known in a former life because uh, I do see a lot of synergy and chemistry and you know, telepathic communication and, you know, th those are very strong soul ties and connections you could have with someone. Um, so spirit is literally saying that this situation involves your past life memories. So for some of you all, that was why you had to grow through what you went through, because some of you had to break some sort of chains, curses, hex, yokes, spells, Whatever it is, you had to be the one to break it. And so it that's why the patience was required. Because um, when you're doing this work, it, there's no timeline. 
You know, you can't be like, okay, give me three years so I can heal. For some people, it may take five years. Um, it just depends on how open and honest you're willing to be, how deep you're willing to go. And, you know, that's what I feel. I feel like a lot of you have been really just taking that time to nurture yourselves, heal yourselves, and be patient with yourselves more importantly. So that's powerful. What we have on the split, go outside. If you guys have been holed up in the house, take your asses outside. I've said this before, that popped up before, you need to go out and ground yourself. You cannot be stuck in the house, the four walls, they will eventually start caving in on you, closing in on you, and you'll start to feel even more disheveled, confused, conflicted, you know, in two minds, mentally, emotionally. So it's really good to just go outside to reset, hit the reset button, to, you know, supercharge yourselves, to activate yourselves, to be amongst the trees and the bodies of water and nature and the animals and the plants and just get that revitalization it rejuvenates your spirit but it also allows you to purge the negative energy you know that stagnant energy that you've been carrying around and that's why i always encourage you to like take your shoes off literally and ground yourselves even if you like if you have aches and pains i want to tell you how powerful mother gaia is daughter earth is um there have been times when i would be taking my nature walk and i would start feeling like this pain in my heel or this pain in the bottom of my foot because i'd be walking for miles like i'll walk <laughs> You know, I'll be trying to get them 10,000 steps in, beloved. So I would start feeling these little cramps and pains in my toes. I would take my shoes off immediately. And when I tell you instant, instant relief, it may take five minutes, but you instantly feel relief and that pain is gone. And I complete my walk with no pain. I don't have no pain the next day, but that's how powerful it is to take your shoes off and ground yourself. When you really think about it, our shoes are di disconnecting us from earth. You know what I'm saying? Because you got the rubber on the bottom of your shoes, you got socks on, you got all these things that is like removing the connectivity between you and Mother Gaia. So that's why it's really important to kick them shoes off sometimes and ground yourself literally just walk barefoot the other day me and my children was you know it was like thunder and lightning and raining and we just sat outside with our shoes off and just enjoyed that energy and you feel so recharged so i encourage you all to do that so let's tap in let's clarify these messages beloved some of you all are musicians artists you know um some of you are creatives in some way you may write music you may you know read in, um, sheet music you may play some sort of instruments like violins bass flutes um drums trumpet saxophones i'm, I'm seeing like or you know like the organs um you may play the piano the guitar uh but i'm definitely getting a sense of someone that is a musician uh some of you all could literally be just like you could be in a band um, maybe some of you are lyricists, rappers, or you could be singers. Uh, but some of you all are definitely honing your skills in your musical, um, in your musical, um, in the musical arena, I guess I should say. Uh, and, and that's something that you are called to do. So I would definitely encourage you to continue to stay you know, diligent. Oh, Katara's trying to come in. Hold on one moment. Let me let my baby in. All right, pardon me. That's Katara. She wanted to come in with Graham Z. So we have home. So this is what you all have been doing. Like I said, you know, protecting your peace, protecting your home. And what it says is Vesta. Hi, baby girl. Hi. Hi, my friend. Hi, you. Hi, my girl. And my friend. Hi, pretty mamas. And so it says... It says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So for some of you, make space for a new love. You know what I'm saying? Because you could be having someone that is going to eventually move in to your space. Or maybe some of you all that are looking for roommates to help with the bills. You know, maybe you're going to have somebody come in and they're going to take half of the bills. Um, but you're definitely going to have some type of, it just feels more like, it just feels more like, just more inviting, more alive, more happy. You feel more content. You feel like safe. You know, you feel this this sense of stability with this with this new person. 
Um, we also have inner wisdom. So as I told you all, you guys are definitely, you know, very spiritual, very, very psychic, very intuitive. Um, and you have come through a lot, uh, which has given you a lot of this, you know, wisdom. And that inner wisdom is your intuition. It's that gumption. It's, you know, it's all of the aforementioned. So you have really taken the time to like really, um, use discernment in situations or to trust your intuition or your instincts in certain scenarios because that's what I was picking up earlier about the patience um, because spirit really wants you to just you know make sure you're using your first eye to see and you're not just jumping into things or jumping to conclusions even um, take time to to assess we have Nas it ain't hard to, to tell so I feel like with it ain't hard to tell I'm, I'm feeling like spirit is saying something is going to be right, like right in front of your face. So, you know, go with, with what you're feeling because, you know, like I always say, like you have to speak energy and that's what I feel like spirit is telling you. Trust your energy, like trust the energy, trust the vibes you get from a situation because your inner wisdom is just that, you know what I'm saying? And it says, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So it's like don't don't go against the grain or don't go against what you feel, you know, and, and more importantly, what you already know. Because when you see owls, that automatically symbolizes the wise dome that you have. You know, you have been able to reach that level of self-mastery through trial and error, through being tried and tested, through growing through the pain. So it's like Everything that you've been able to acquire, all of the knowledge you've been able to acquire, turn it into, um, you know, turn that into wise dome, you know, because the application of um, knowledge becomes wisdom at the end of the day. So sensitivity, this is what you're picking up, what, whomever you're attracting to you rather, you know, whoever or whatever you're attracting, it says sensitivity. So I do feel like you're more sensitive Um and that's because you've been doing the work, you know, like if you have been around a bunch of just snakes and vultures, you know, in sheep's clothing, um, that was literally training you for being able to just sense the danger around you. So you are more sensitive now, um, you know, to situations you can pick up on energy. That's why I was like, spirit was really telling you, like, trust your inner wisdom, um, that gumption, whatever sits right, feels right in your spirit. That's what you do. Uh, but don't go against that, you know, because this has a lot to do with someone that could be perhaps trying to dupe you or maybe this is someone that may have duped you in the past and that's how you were able to obtain you know this level of wisdom and also what has made you a little more sensitive um you know to the fugazi or the negative energy so it says here um you are be becoming uh increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationships environments situations and chemicals so with this communication that's what spirit is also saying so if you feel like a conversation is going sideways remember the six that could also be like the six of cups remember i was picking up like somebody coming from the past past people coming because this is mercury retrograde so someone may reach out to you that you haven't heard from in a while but spirit is saying you're literally sensitive to the nonsense you're sensitive to the bull ish so be mindful because someone could see that you're receiving blessings upon blessings remember i mentioned oshun and so we have Oshun singing blissings upon blissings. So I definitely feel like that's what this person is seeing. Um, and I do feel like if they see that you're receiving these blissings or you're having some sort of ascension or you're growing, uh, someone could be just literally trying to come in and just BS you. And that's why Spirit is saying, use your intuition, beloveds. Trust your intuition. So Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection, can you please bless me with a message for my beloved Scorpios? Who or what? Are they attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And there goes the transformation card. Some of you may be seeing beautiful butterflies. Just kind of just, you know, beautifully, gracefully fluttering around you. I've had that happen several times to me in the past couple of weeks. They've just been like fluttering in front of my car when I'm driving or when I'm parked at a light or, you know, stopped at a light. Like... It's just been beautiful encounters. We even saw a hummingbird last week, um, which was amazing. Like, that's rare to see a hummingbird. Um, 
but my ch my daughter and her father um, and myself, we were sitting on my patio, you know, um, grilling, and this beautiful hummingbird just literally just flew past us and, you know, was fluttering around in the tree. So it was a very beautiful thing to witness because I think that was probably the second time I've ever witnessed um, a beautiful hummingbird. So some of you may be seeing those animal totems, uh, but what we have here is receptivity on the bottom of the deck. So this is what Spirit is saying. So it says, um, allow yourself to receive. And what did I say early about the Empress are receivers, you know? So Spirit is telling you, like, now is the time. Whatever you're attracting to you, whomever, this is that you're attracting to you. Because remember, the six is not only given the six of cups, but that also could be the six, um, the lovers, you know. And with communication, that could be speaking, you know, the lovers is also about unions, partnerships. Um, this could be business, but this also could be love. Because, hence the word lovers. But um, this is saying you're going to receive some sort of communication. The Spirit wants you to be receptive. So it says, allow yourself to receive. Um, this will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. And the 33 reduces to 6, which is your first eye. So, you know, that's what Spirit is saying. You have the inner wisdom. You will know what to do. She's looking right in the direction of this person that you're attracting. And for spirit to say, be receptive, I feel like this very well may be the person um, that is made in your likeness, you know, that will communicate because both of you are in this three energy. And I was picking up like, you know, just that empress, that, that, that regal energy, you know, people who have reached a level of self-mastery. So you can have several people that could be attracted to you. Some of them could be from your past. Some of them could be karmics and some of them could be some new folks. Um, but whatever the case, Hafor is telling you to be receptive and to trust your intuition. When you're open and receptive, that means that you're trusting universe. You're trusting the divine. Um, and more importantly, you're trusting yourself, you know, in the process. So we have Toby Nwigwi and this is called um, Dope. And this is featuring um, David, Michael. Some of you all could be dealing with David. Now, David and Michael are both in the Bible. So I definitely feel like your angels are watching over you. I definitely am feeling that. How someone feels about you, it says 13 effort. So this is that person that is going to make the effort. And this says the arts. This person may like try to woo you. Maybe they play the guitar. And they may like literally like play the guitar and sing a song to you or communicate some sort of feelings. They may tell you, look, you're dope. You know, but they think that you're dope because we have Toby Nwigwi, I'm um, dope playing. And this person um, could be from Texas. Someone could be from Texas, rather, whoever's watching or whomever you're dealing with. Maybe that's, you know, if they don't live there right now, maybe that's where they're native. They're, that's their native um, town where they're from. But it says express yourself um, through creative activities and remember what I was saying about honing your skills your gifts your talents just building your wealth of knowledge that's how this person feels maybe they feel you're creative and artistic and maybe you're a musician and maybe you're someone that sings or you rhyme um you know but I'm also getting a sense of like someone may try to woo you someone may try to court you or serenade you perhaps with a song you know, but this is definitely someone that is like going to put forth the effort. Someone may communicate and express, look, I love you. You know, like they really might say that. With David, Michael, Wyatt, um, we even have Luke and Whitney. Um, those are the names. Someone's name could be David, Michael, Wyatt, Luke, or Whitney, first, middle, or last. Um, as I said, someone could be born um, or from Texas. Someone's name could even be Toby. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for how this person, our beloved Scorpios, are attracting to them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Okay, so these cards got stuck. And it's actually one card. Oh, no, it was two. I was right. So there goes the world card. Endings and beginnings. So this is like literally confirming this 13 effort. Like you literally had to grow through some sort of endings, karmic cycles, completions. And now you're having some sort of beautiful brand new start, a fresh start. Um, and this is showing like you've been through enormous change. And that's why I've been saying that you've 
absolutely reached a level of self-mastery and are in a regal energy. Like you're not just a queen, you're an empress. You're not just a king, you're an emperor. Like you've passed that stage of, you know, being crowned a king or queen. Like you're beyond that because you've the work you've been putting in. And it says leap of faith. So I feel like this person, you know, there may be some feeling like something is coming full circle. You know, maybe there was a term... Um, a period rather where you know you were doing some work and as I said you were in that hermit mode just kind of really prioritizing your healing and your spirit and your soul work um, and so you may not have been available you may have been very protective of your energy you may not have let a lot of people in you may have been very closed off and that's why spirit was saying look be receptive open up this could also be the person you're dealing with because that's their energy as well um, that's what's in the energy of who or what you're attracting to you you know, is this receptivity. So this is something that's like spirit is saying, just open up to it. Be, be, you know, be, be sure, you know, be confident, claim what you want. Don't be afraid. You know, this is about being fearless. Hence this leap of faith. Someone could be taking a leap of faith and coming towards you, communicating, expressing whatever this is that they've been holding on. And what we have on the bottom of the deck is undying love. And remember when we first picked up the deck, we saw past life. So whomever this is, when you have undying love, you know, this says who, you know, what's hidden. So you got love partnerships and undying love. So this is a love that's going to stand the test of time. You know, this is something that could be written in the stars, destined. You know, this could be that wish fulfillment I was picking up because I was feeling like you were attracting someone that's definitely made in your likeness, but a suit. You know, like your homie love a best friend. Like this is somebody who's going to speak your love language. Someone you're going to have chemistry, synergy with. This is someone that you're going to have very stimulating conversation. Someone that you're going to just be kind of getting lost in each other's eyes. Or there's just something that just draws the two of you together. And this undying love, it says, the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So you're dealing perhaps with a soulmate, as I said, or some sort of this, this is someone that you could have like that twin flame type of energy, or this could be someone that is um, a divine counterpart, divine spirit. Thank you. And look what we have. That's beautiful. This is Mama Lakshmi. And it says, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. And that's what I literally told y'all. And look what we have. True love is clarifying love partnership so you are attracting someone that like i said is on just made in your likeness like when you love yourself that is what's drawing this love to you is because someone loves the way you love yourself you know and this is just going to make them want to come in and just shower you with more love this is someone that is going to be very tender loving and caring this is someone that definitely has true love it says the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you remember i was saying spirit was aligning you you know aligning you with your purpose your person your passion whatever it is spirit Spirit is aligning you because you literally had 333 start off the reading. So that's a very powerful energy um, to start off the reading. And you have confirmation uh, from Mama Lakshmi that you're going to be bliss in your career. You're going to be successful. So if you're worrying about how this business is going to take off or how you're going to get the funds to get all of the, you know, the tools or all of the you know, the, the, the products you need to build your business, um, Spirit is saying stop worrying. Because what's meant for you is yours already. You don't need to worry about it. Just keep working towards the goal. You know, if you're looking to have a nonprofit, do the paperwork you need to file for, you know, 508, you know, 3C. Do the paperwork. And past life flew out to clarify uh, the 78 spiritual career and 99. Some of you all are, you know, um, High priestesses and priests, you are uh, ordained. You know, you are someone that has been chosen, as I said. You are someone who's been ushered into, um, you know, the craft. Because I feel like your angels and guides are leading you um, to whatever this is that you are meant to do. And with the completion of a cycle, that's what brought you into uh, this knowledge. You know, I feel like whatever you had to endure, whatever pain you've had to overcome, that's what's kind of like giving you, you know, that, that wise dome that you needed to be able to impart, you know, the knowledge that you have to others or to be able to help heal others, to help support others um, while they're healing themselves. What's on the bottom of the deck 
is we have sacred space. So definitely make sure that you are paying homage, that you are giving love and honor to, um, as well as libation and offerings to your ancestors. Set up an ancestor altar, even if it's for your immediate ancestors, like a grandmother, a mother, a father, a cousin, a brother, a sister. You know, you could set up a, a family altar, but you could also set up an altar for like your angels, Archangel Michael or your the Orishas um, or whatever deity um, or God that you, you know, really resonate with. Um, this is Isis. So some of you may be, you know, setting up altars for the Kemetic um, gods and goddesses. Um, you know, um, Heru and, and Sekhmet, Set, Bast, Ma'at, you know, those, that energy, Aset. Um, so maybe that's what you all are doing. But I feel like Spirit is saying you need to spend some, some quality time developing relationships um, with your ancestors. So as I said, setting up altars, um, purchasing them fresh flowers, pouring libation or pouring you know, liquor that they like, whether it's rum or vodka, um, you know, making sure to light a cigar or a cigarette on the altar, um, you know, putting their favorite food out on their feast days or during the holy days or solar returns for family members, you could put out a plate of food for them, like is uh, put out an apple, you know, put a, a, a piece of fruit, um, put money, put, you know, whatever it is, um, you know, a candle, light candles, um, incense, you know, spray perfume, you know, find out what your, um, whatever it is your ancestors really resonated with or whatever the deities and gods and goddesses that you really, um, try to connect with, find out what they like and, and do those things like set those things up on the altar and dedicate time building that rapport, that relationship so that they can, you know, support you in this reality. Um, cause I do see that they're here. I do see the presence, um, you know, of your, your, your spirit team around you. And it's just a beautiful feeling when they tell you, you ain't got nothing to worry about, you know, cause I was even feeling that like you are good money, beloved. Um, so let's tap in. This is what I'm getting from the goddess guidance. We're going to pull some messages from the tarot. We're going to use hoodoo tarot today. And then we're going to rah, 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 you heard? So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going home with my beloveds. Let's see what we got. It's been a minute since I used this deck. I haven't used it in this new place in quite some time. So let's see what we got. So look what we have. So we have, what is that? The mother of coins, queen of coins. Look at that. Unbothered. She ain't under no type of pressure. She's chilling. We got Black Street Joy playing. So this is what you're feeling. You're feeling like you're in complete bliss. You're feeling joyful, happy. Remember, before I put the numerology deck back in, something was peeking out. I was like, what is that? And it was happy ending. So joy. Someone's name could be joy also. But I'm definitely getting a sense like you are unbothered. You know, like things are just looking up. You feel very, you know, very stable, very self-sufficient, very grounded, um, just fulfilled emotionally, mentally. I feel other people see you as very stable. Other people see you as someone that they can, you know, that that's just happy. You know, you just may be a very happy person. You may be smiling all the time. You may just have a light, you know, that just really is magnetic to other people. And look what we got, the father of coins. Didn't I say you was attracting suits? You was attracting your suit. So someone has their eyes on you. And you see how she has, you know, like this little mask over her eyes and he's watching and in front of him is like a genie bottle. So someone could be manifesting you. This is we're about to pull a card for, you know, the overall energy. But I do feel like that could potentially be that person that was very proud, very egotistical. And with this patience card, you know, you've been very patient in your journey to heal whatever broken heart you had to um, endure and you really focused on. You know, your household, the home, the hearth, your stability, your security. And so, you know, maybe you have somebody that's coming back. There goes the strength card. So Spirit is saying you definitely have someone that's <laughs> trying to muster up the strength. Because I just heard this person is trying to muster up the strength to come towards you. Um, because you may just seem very guarded. You saw she had her eyes covered. Like I said, you are not under any type of pressure. So it's not like you need or want for anything. Um, but this person is definitely feeling like they want to come towards you. There goes the heart, the heartbreak and the pain and the agony that I was saying you had to overcome. This could have been with like, um, the mother or father to your child, 
because uh, the father of coins could be like the mother or father to your child. There goes the devil. So we have Miss Robinson here. And it says funeral home. So there was definitely um, the death, the demise of a relationship. You can see this person here with three swords to the heart. And then he's sitting in front of a grave. And then you have the Mrs. Robinson. Someone's name could be Mrs. Robinson. But the funeral home card in this deck is the, de the um, devil card. So this person is definitely um, had some devil energy. Maybe they had some addictions. Like I said, they were definitely the type of person that was very stubborn. You, we even had knucklehead play. I was getting a hard-headed type of individual that doesn't want to admit when they're wrong. or doesn't want to emote. They're not available. They're not present. They were just constantly in and out, flighty, non-committal. And that is got old and so it led to heartache but look what you did three of sticks you're looking at the front door you know like you was looking beyond this situation and you recovered because you said you know what i am going to move forward i am not going to let this break me some of you you know you started to plan and strategize your ways out of those relationships because you saw it was just leading to a dead end there goes the death card ancestors so your ancestors have been supporting you um, and helping you more importantly when you were experiencing um, this type of pain. This level of pain is really just, um, this is like just someone just being very careless, not giving up. You know what I'm talking about? Like they didn't care how you felt. Um, there's definitely some other uh, factors involved as well. Like I feel like somebody could have definitely been under some sort of like spell or somebody could have had just some negative influences or someone could have been dealing with addictions or some sort of afflictions which led to you know just um just careless behavior and activity uh but i do feel like you were being protected um by your ancestors like i just get a sense of your ancestors like watching over you um, protecting you because there was a lot that you weren't aware of I just get a sense of like you being in the dark um, for a really long time until you finally saw the light you know what I'm talking about like this person was really um, a master manipulator like there's no other way to explain or define that energy that I was picking up you know it's it's, it's more than just being proud and, and egotistical but when you're calculating doing it that that's a whole other level of manipulation that that's going on it's almost like you know very sociopath like just all right so the energy on the bottom of the deck so we have the daughter of sticks. So that energy right there is the, the same as the page of sticks. So I do feel like there's some news. I feel like there's news and that's why spirit is saying, look, you know what you need to do because somebody's coming in and this is a very young juvenile energy, um, but it's exciting news. But spirit is saying, you know, you, you got to, you know, check within, you know, consult with your higher self before you take action or before you do anything, because this is someone that could just be like, you know, spur of the moment, you know, when it's Mercury retrograde and people pop in and say, hey, what's up? And you get all excited. And then as soon as Mercury retrograde dips out, it's like that person is gone and the passion's gone and you done got your hopes up for nothing. You know, so it's like just just be mindful, um, be very intentional, be very very patient with yourself. Be patient um, in this process. If somebody does pop up, don't just rush. You know, even when somebody is, you know, talking about, um, you know, they want to make plans or this and that, you don't have to just rush to appease someone. See how you feel. See if you feel like it. You know, see if the timeline works for you. You might have 50,000 things to do. You don't have to just pencil someone in because they called out of the blue. You know, reschedule that for next month after the, <laughs> after the Mercury retrograde. But this is really telling you that you know what you need to do. So go within, see if it feels right in your spirit. And if it does, proceed. If not, fall back. You know what I'm talking about? Like that's what spirit is telling you. You know, they're telling you use your first eye to see. Because you, you've already been down that road of, you know, following behind people and, and, and overcompensating and trying to always appease other people. And that's not what spirit wants you to do. So here we have Bishop C.H. Manson. And this is the, um, I believe this, what is B? I haven't used this deck in so long that I forgot. Oh, this is the Magician. If I'm not, let me confirm that because it, it's been a while since I used it and I don't want to give y'all misinformation. Hold on one moment. I believe he is, he might be the Hierophant. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. 
Oh wait, that's on, that would be in the front. My bad. Come on now. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, he's the Hierophant. Okay, I thought so. All right, so the Hierophant, what did I say? I was talking about the Hierophant, and that's the level of self-mastery, but this also speaks to like initiation, being initiated, going through, you know, rites of passage, tutelage. You know, this is like that scholarly energy, building your wealth of knowledge, learning. You know what I'm saying? So that's that energy. And we are about to pull the card for who or what you're attracting to you. So this is someone that I feel has been maturing. And that could be why spirit is telling you to be receptive. Um, and receptive is to just open up. Because when you open up, then you open up the possibilities of finding that of what you, you know, what you desire. Um, open up. And, and speak your truth, communicate, trust your intuition and your instincts also. If you look on Hathor's um, crown, she's wearing like, you know, this is representative of um, the sun. You know, so the sun brings truth. It brings clarity. So spirit is telling you to um, see the truth in this situation. See the light. Use your intuition. You know, the sun brings that sense of illumination. So that's what she's wearing. So this is about trusting, you know, whatever you feel in your spirit. You know, the 33, like I said, deals with your first eye. So don't, so go with your gumption. But this five hierophant is saying that you're definitely spiritually, you're attracting someone or something um, that is, you know, le leading you to some sort of awakening or ascension. And remember, Maxwell was playing that early, earlier. And we have Christian... Um, this is called Christian and this is, um, full of smoke. So remember I was picking up like someone who was like an illusionist, you know, cause when you think of smoke, it kind of debilitates your ability to see. So the smoke has to dissipate for you to see clearly. And so we have the mother of sticks and as you see, she's like blowing smoke. So you could have been dealing with someone who was blowing. I heard smoke up your ass. But this is, and that's funny. So full of smoke. Maybe someone was a smoker. Someone's clothes was full of smoke. Someone could have been around somebody that was smoking. But I was just getting like illusions. When I think of smoke, I think of lies. I think of someone not having the clarity or the truth. And remember what Spirit was saying earlier about, you know, like trusting your intuition. So when you think of the mother of sticks, she's a very young attractive sexy um feminine energy and so maybe that's what someone um could have been dealing with who or what you're dealing with this is the card that's showing up is mother of sticks so some of you all could have been dealing with a fire sign a fellow fire sign and i feel like this is someone that takes action they're not shy they go after what they want very goal oriented you know, this is like a boss, a leader also, but with full of smoke, maybe someone was a Christian. Someone could have been Christian. Maybe that's what, you know, there was some sort of confusion between that. But with full of smoke, um, I just feel like, you know, maybe somebody's a heavy smoker. They might chief a lot of green. You know, maybe someone, like I said, is just like, you know, that, that maybe an illusionist. That could be like that devil energy. Let me clarify this message. Why is 33 communication and Hathor receptivity here? All right, let me see. And so we have the nine of knives. See, somebody's up in their head. So this is someone who's definitely confused. Remember I was saying confusion with the full of smoke. smoke and look at that. The nine of um, knives. That's the nine of um, swords. So that's somebody that is like literally they have um, they have sleepless nights, somebody that wakes up in cold sweat, somebody that could be, you know, having um, night tremors, nightmares, somebody just in agony. You know, maybe somebody's going to apologize or somebody's going to communicate something. But we have the magician here also. So that's why I was picking up manipulation. Somebody's being manipulative with full of smoke. This person's blowing smoke up your ass. And this person could be a little confused and conflicted because you're not responding. Like I said, you're not receptive to the nonsense. Like you're you're not entertaining nonsense. So someone could literally be trying to just um, manipulate your energy. Give me one moment. My bad. So yeah, someone's definitely, um, you know, someone was full of ish. Because I, I was hearing full of ish. You know, and I think you're going to see through that. You know, but whoever this is, that is stress. 
you know, somebody's waking up during witching hours because I was picking up somebody doing some voodoo, juju, hoodoo, and this is how they may feel about you. Is somebody could be trying to either manifest you or they could be trying to manipulate your energy. So be mindful. Divine Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection. Why is this 13 effort, Kali, endings and beginnings, any leap of faith here for how this person, our beloved Scorpios, are attracting to them feel about them? Let me get a message of Peace, Power, and Protection. Spirit, and this is what they feel. Remember, we saw this earlier, the Three of Wands. This is that ready, set, go energy. You're manifesting. You're moving forward. You're taking a leap of faith and you're going in a different direction. You can see you've already chosen the direction you're going in and you left these two sticks which represent confusion or being stuck at a fork in the road or being stuck in two minds and you're going on to bigger and better. You have this one staff so you're manifesting something new and you're being fearless. And look at this. This is leaving someone hurt, broken hearted because you left them behind. And we have Dam Damien Marley there for you. So you're leaving someone behind because you're finding someone that's going to actually be there for you. And we're about to attract love partnership and true love. So whoever this person is, is going to be broken hearted because perhaps the lesson they had to learn um, from you. Remember when we first, you know, um, started the reading, we had uh, I do everything. And then we also had um, had it all the time, you know. So this person realizes they had a diamond all the time, the whole time, and they foolishly let it slip away because they had this juvenile energy of pride, ego, you know, um, and just that player energy, non-committal, flighty, here, there, everywhere, passion, and they, learned, they done lost a dime. And now we have somebody, Damien and Molly, someone could be from Jamaica, someone's name could be Damien or Molly. Damien, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, liken that name to like, I don't want to say that. I'm not going to mess up the whole name. Someone's name could be Damien. Someone's name could be Marley, first, middle, and last. I was picking up somebody that chiefed a lot, too. So, you know, it's a possibility that that person from the past that you was dealing with, either they're smokers or they smoked a lot, or just the smoke I was picking up, again, was just the confusion, which this card represents. But this is the heartache they're going to feel because I feel like you... What's hidden is you're going to have somebody that's going to be there for you, a rider. You know, this is somebody that's going, you know, ride to the wheels fall off and y'all going to pull off to the side of the road, put some new wheels and keep it pushing. Like this is not that person that's just going to sit back and watch their lady do all the work or watch their man do all the work. Like they're going to contribute. They're going to be, you know, they're going to be willing to compromise. They're going to be willing to put forth the effort so that the team can win. You know, it's a team effort. You know, so that's what you're attracting to you is someone that's on your page, someone that's on your frequency, someone that gets it. So Divine Spirit, why is the 26 love partnership in Genevieve? True love here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. And we have the daughter of knives. So this is the page of knives. So this is the page of knives. So that's communication. And then you have the five of coins. See that? So this is really feeling like, you know, and you can see the big smile on this face because you can see the ancestors on both sides. So even though you may have felt like abandoned or you dealt with like unrequited love, if you think about the five of coins, there's like two people in the traditional tarot deck. There's two people walking in what appears to be like a blizzard and they're footless. I mean, they're shoeless. It's cold, but they're still moving. They're still pushing. So they haven't give up, given up. You can see this person is like, just all torn and tattered their clothes. Um, but you can see the ancestors on both sides. So the ancestors have literally guided this person, you know, and aligned this person to the love that they deserve. If you were abandoned, if you were rejected, uh, if you were in a situation where it was unrequited, if you were cheated on, if you were went through any type of divorce or whatever, it's like spirit has, is aware. And I feel like this, this, page of swords um, is really saying that, you know, there are people that are watching you that absolutely are attracted to you. They see you as a wish fulfillment because when I see this 26, that just shows me the eight, the, 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 um, I get the eight of cups, but I also get, you know, the eight, um, you know, the star because 17 breaks down to eight. So I feel like not only will this feel like 
you know, you're moving in the right direction in a positive direction with this love partnership, but it's also like, it's a wish fulfillment. It's something that you could have prayed for, asked for, wished for, hoped for. And it's because you're going to have somebody that is reciprocal. Like they reciprocate, they, they show love. Um, this is someone that's going to, you know, be very, um, supportive. They're going to be your rock. They're going to be just your homie, love, a friend, you know, that's what I'm picking up. And I feel like your angels, your ancestors, the more, you know, you, you develop that relationship, that rapport, um, the more they will come to your aid. And so we have, um, them bones. And this is the same as, um, I believe this is the, oh man, is this judgment? I feel this is the judgment card, but I don't want to, I, I want to confirm that. I don't want to give you all misinformation. I'm like, I'm so anal when it comes to that. I do not want to give you all misinformation. Let me find what that card is. I feel like that's temperance. I don't know. My bad, y'all. I could pause the video and show you, but, you know. By the time I do all of that, I'll find it. Come on now. Dang, Dunny. Dang. -a. Yo, where <laughs> that's crazy. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Oh, that's crazy. So judgment. I was right. I just got to be sure. I don't want to give you misinformation and do a whole reading and the cards are wrong. So judgment. So that's what this is. So there is definitely this energy because the outcome is judgment. Like you're going to reap what you sow. Whatever seed you've sowed in good faith, faith or bad, that's what you're going to reap. And I feel like with judgment, you're being judged. Um... You know, from just, you know, just your journey, you know, what you've endured from your past life, this present life. And I feel like that's what's aligning you with your divine purpose and passion. But more importantly, I just get a sense of like, you know, some sort of like wake up call, like something is being brought to your attention. And I just feel like that's really what I was picking up earlier is just like spirit is really making it very, um, very very evident of what you're here to do, what your purpose is. Um, if you look at both of these energies, they both have like similar headdresses. Um, and that's how you receive your downloads, your divine intervention. I feel like that's just another way or another way to um, play on the fact that you're highly intuitive. So trust that. That's another way for spirit to remind you of the inner wisdom that you have. So, you know, definitely trust what you're feeling. Um, some of you could also be oracles. You could be channelers. You could be high priests or priestesses. Some of you may do tarot readings or some other uh, type of reading, whether it be teacup or tea leaves or crystals, whatever it is that you read, smoke, fire, um, if you're a, a scryer in that essence, um, that could be your calling. You know, literally, that could be your calling. Spirit could literally be aligning you with your divine purpose. Um, but that's also, you know, this is very indicative of like, you know, karmic awakenings and karmic uh, debts being paid off as well. Um, so let's tap in. Why is the 78 spiritual career 99 completion uh, past life here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? And then we're going to wrap it up. Oh, Lord. Did you see that? Like all the cards flew out. That is, um, that's crazy. That's never happened. So that's very interesting. Some, I just get like anger. That was like angry. Like whatever that energy was, that was angry. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. And remember I was saying, this is like that past person you were in a relationship with or dealing with in your past also. You know, cause that could be like the, you know, the ex-husband, the ex-wife, you know, the person that you were married to living with, you know, in that um, domestic partnership. I was even getting domestic abuse from that connection as well. So I don't know. Like somebody's angry because the way these cards just flew out of my hands, beloveds. And, and these are some very interesting cards, to be honest. Like very interesting. 
but I'm going to bang bang boogie the cards and then I shall proceed with the read, beloveds. Put those on the bottom. Bang boogie. All right, so let's shuffle again and then we shall go ahead. So I see the two of pentacles. Yeah, this person was juggling all right. And if you look in the back, the water, the waves, it's about to like envelop this person. So they don't even realize like their emotions are all over the place. You know, they're sitting here trying to play this juggle game and their their emotions are going to just take over because that's what I feel like they're feeling right now is like they're starting to realize just how special you were. They're confused, conflicted, been juggling, you know, and, and you took the time to really assess, to go within and you may have cut the energy off completely. So let's tap in. Let's get our messages for um, the outcome and then we're going to wrap it up. Now we're just under two hours, which is what I wanted. Last reading was three hours. How dare I? I just be going with the flow, beloved. I can't rush it. I'm sorry. And those that appreciate the long readings are the ones that I do the readings for, to be honest with you. I'm not, I can't, I, even if I tried, I tried in the past to like do a 30 minute read. I just don't know how to do that. So the bottom of the deck, we have two of pentacles. So that's what you was dealing with. You know, um, I feel like this could even be representative of you just juggling a lot at one time, your emotions all over the place. Um, but this also could be the outcome, you know, for that past life person dealing with, you know, multiple responsibilities or feeling like you had to do it all on your own. And oh, and I've been saying completion all this time, and this says compassion. So I do feel like that's what spirit is saying, that you have a lot of compassion. You're very empathic. Um, that completely missed I, nine is completion. And I was saying completion the whole time. And this is actually compassion. But um, that doesn't change the storyline one bit because it's obvious that you are a passionate person, which is why someone is coming to the realization that they done effed up a good thing. But back to your energy, um, beloved Scorpios, like I just feel like this is saying that, you know, um, you are going to be juggling a lot. And I feel like with this energy, you may feel sometimes overwhelmed. You may feel like you got so much on your plate at one time. And spirit is literally telling you like the doors are going to open up. Don't judge how things look. Don't judge, you know, how they things appear uh, because you are absolutely coming in to a blessing. I want to get one more message. I see the father of baskets. So that's a king of cups. Someone does have their eyes on you. And we have gets playing. This is a, um, and it says autobiography. So, you know, and with gets, I feel like this is just somebody that's going to get you, get your life story. You know, they're going to be on the same page. Let me get one more message. All right. Thank you, spirit. And this is the five of baskets. So whoever this is, because I'm getting with the 78, that's 15, that's 6. Then you got the 2, that's 8. 8 and 5, 13. So that's what we're getting with autobiography. So the 13 that I'm getting from all of these cards um, is showing that that's the transformation. The 5 of cups is literally, you know, that's, that's when you feel like, you know, someone has completely rejected you, turned their back on you, and then they turn around and realize, damn, that was the one all along because when you think of the five of cups in traditional tarot the two cups are sitting there this person is mourning the three cups that have spilled over because they've just been so preoccupied with the nonsense and then they turn around only to discover that was the love that they didn't give the attention to that they didn't take the time to um you know really you know really um show that emotion and so with the compassion i feel like you know this is what um I feel you've learned uh, to be more, you know, maybe that's just what your gift is because you are water signs. So water signs tend to be more emotionally intelligent. And there goes the emperor. So this emperor, John Horse, I feel like they've been on a journey as well. And perhaps they had to also go through some sort of growing pain. Um, and we got the ace of coins here on the bottom of the deck. We even have the moon there. You know, so you got the, the emperor and then you have the ace of coins. 
So I feel this is what you are attracting to you. And the emperor is well off. You know, the empress is well off. They are very powerful. They are very attractive. They're go-getters. They're master manifestors. They have businesses. They create babies. They rule empires. So they are definitely fully aware of who they are and what they're capable of. And so I feel like you're stepping into that power to embark upon whatever this this dream is or whatever this passion is that you have um you know for the spiritual career and I feel like this is just you um navigate in that terrain you know and whatever this is you're aligning with this is this is involving your past life I feel like many of you are channelers psychics you could be oracles you could be tarot readers you could be cardomancers you could be whatever you do um, you could have some sort of spiritual gift, but I also feel with this five of cups, as I said, <clears throat> which is the five of baskets, that there is a sense that someone's going to realize like, you know, and we do know that because that card, I mean, that song that played earlier is like, they realize like, damn, they messed something up or they let something or someone that was special go. So this is the energy for you all. I hope the messages resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind, hit that like, the share, the subscribe button, definitely um, hit the bell notification. So, you know, whenever I upload, because I do not upload often, like I don't upload every day, every week, you know, I don't do that. And so there were two cards that I just realized that I um, missed. Actually, there are three. And I feel there's a reason that these are here. Are there any more? So these three cards definitely wanted to be found later because I literally thought I picked up all the cards, went to shuffling, only to find these cards. So we have Dr. Grant. So this is the temperance. So Spirit was telling you, remember earlier in the read, be patient. I feel Spirit was also saying that because of your patience, and your, your perseverance and your resilience to heal and grow. That's why whatever you're um, attracting to you is coming towards you. But you have the Ace of Baskets, which is the Ace of Cups. So that's really showing the healing you've done on yourself first. And now you're going to have someone coming in to shower you with love. But we also have Big Mama, which is the Sun. So a lot of you have something new coming in. This is beautiful. Some of you may have like a... Um, grandmother or a mother in the spirit realm that is blessing you if you look closely she has a key that is wrapped around her neck a necklace and I feel like she's bringing you the key uh, when I see this cornbread I always think of my saying um, that you're coming into some money some cheddar cheese biscuits and dough um, and cornbread you know what I'm saying so this is the money this is that paper the bread that's like slang so she's bringing money she's bringing love she's bringing new beginnings it may have taken a long time but you can see this person like Temperance is, is it's about planting the seeds. Um, and you're not just planting it and walking away and forgetting about it. You're planting it. You're cultivating it. You're watering it. You know, you're making sure to, to um, you know, just like tend to that soil so that you could get the best um, outcome. And, and that's what's coming in for you. So all the juggling that you're doing, it's going to, it's not going to be for naught. I feel like you're going to see a lot of, um, a lot of beautiful changes. I see emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. I feel like you're going to have a happily ever after with someone very special. I feel if you've been juggling everything on your own and you're so tired and overwhelmed, I feel like you have a partner that's coming in that's going to take a load off. Um, I feel that you guys have some beautiful energy coming in and it's because you did the work. You wouldn't be getting the blessings if you didn't do the work. If you didn't do the work, then this is not applicable to you. This is only for those Scorpios that have been growing grinding for over the past 10 years you have had to been working on yourself for more than just a year for more than just two years like th this is a grind like this is dedication this is drive this is blood sweat tears this wasn't easy at all and this is a lot of you know suffering in silence doing it on your own and that's why i feel like spirit also was saying it's time to now open yourselves up to now be more receptive be more um Train yourself to be receivers because that's what a feminine energy is. We are receivers. Masculines are givers. So if you are a feminine, you've been in um, both 
kind of energies where you've been having to do everything. And so some of you may have had to be in that masculine energy longer. And I feel like that's why spirit is reminding you as a feminine, be open, be receptive. Um, even if you're not a feminine and you're a masculine and you're not open and receptive, spirit is reminding you to be open. Um, because you are lovable, you're worthy, and there is someone that is ready to love you right. This is not just somebody coming in to waste your time, but I feel like it's going to, you know, it's going to take you trusting your gumption, your intuition for you to be able to trust this. Um, because I feel like whatever you endured in your past kind of, you know, it, 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 it kind of um, makes you shy away from it. You know, so that's why they're telling you take the time you need to assess the situation, to kind of observe, to, you know, kind of like, you know, plan and prepare your, 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 yourself um, for what's coming because something beautiful is coming your way. And a lot of you all, like I said, are aligning with your divine purpose and your divine passion and you're going to be elated. This is beautiful. I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, send a big fat Asheo. Peace.